your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Oh, I'd like to hear about it, potheads. How the fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? Look at the game change. Donuts. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, you're not a bad looking man, Mr. Gals. But you are, Blanche. You are in that chair. There's something wrong with us. Something very, very wrong with us. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. The man, Tull, Oates, Garfunkel, all the goofy ass names we call him is here. The mother effing man, Jay Larson. Jay Larson of the Crab Feast. What's up, Moriers? <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the one that's winning. I, I like Moriers. I also like Morons. Morons is pretty hot. It's pretty good, and somebody came to Irvine with a shirt that said, I'm a Already? moron. It was, yeah, it was, it was like last month. Me and Sickler were there. Oh, it was, dude. It was black and orange, and black with orange print said, I'm a moron, M-O-H-R-O-N. And his girlfriend had an orange shirt with black print that said, I'm with moron. Oh, with an arrow God. pointing to the guy. That and one's t- pretty good. And I said, you should get pregnant and have it pointing down. <laughs> yeah. You should make those. First of all, am I only on here today so that you could do that Boston accent in their opening read? Mm-mm. I kind of love it. We had Sickler on. We had uh, we had a lot of non comics on. That sounded weird. That Sickler. Was our, <laughs> <laughs> no, we was love him. Sickler was great. And then uh, we've had like Rob Van Dam. We've had Stacy Peralta. We've had I some heard non-comics. you had Stacy Peralta. That's so sick. I said to Angie today, we we're going over some technical stuff, and I said, you know what? We got to get a comic in here. Stat. Stat. Sate the Ultimate Warriors. Dude, the Ultimate Warriors. I beelined it out of Hollywood. So you had an audition today. Yeah. And I wanted to actually start and just be talking to me and Angie and have you drop in Bob Hope style. Like I know. I kind of wanted show. to too. And then I was like, I was in good time. I'm like, he's pressed for time. So I moved. I got a Prius and I still killed it. You and uh, who was it? Kirk Fox said he had that Honda hybrid. Yeah, he's got he the goes, Honda. He said he's going to die with that car. He loves it so much. His ice cream truck door on the side of his Prius. Yeah, he's the one that looks like his car doesn't even look like a pre, like a hybrid. It's so old, you know. It's it still like that looks old like cell old phone. The old cell phones at the size of a brick. Yeah, exactly. he's got that version of the Prius. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's Prius gets, felt like it's too mechanical. It's got a Y in it. Yeah, it gets it gets twenty eight miles to the gallon. This is the new 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 Prius, man. Back in the day, <laughs> it was the real hot Prius. He got an eighty six, man. No, he didn't. No, of course. Oh my but god! Can you imagine? Yeah, in eighty six, like, they had Prius. Yeah, I like to think he's just driving around. I need Kirk Fox to just be driving around in a bumper car with that antenna that just touches the ceiling for electricity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's always the part of the bumper car you forget whenever you go. Yeah, I know. You think you're so cool, but it's You dig not. bumper cars? Yeah, big time. We used to go all the time. Canopy Lake Park. We never went there. Yeah, we Canopy did. Lake? Yeah. Did you go? I'm from Rhode Island. Oh, Angie's a Southern Bell from Long Island. What part of Rhode Island? Newport. Okay. Oh, the Newport's good part. nice. Part. Yeah, the what do you go to? Marble House? Break what, what do you need? <laughs> you don't what think I'm part been... of Rhode Island? It's the size of an ant's dick. I know. And you're like, specifically on the ant's (laughs) dick, what part's bothering you? (laughs) All right, ant, I know your dick hurts. What part of this ant dick is inflamed? (laughs) It's Rhode Island, bro. What part? We used to go down there and just rent a boat. You know what I mean? Like, we couldn't afford a big boat, so we just get like a little one that we drive, and we thought we were the coolest mean. You were the coolest. Yeah. And we just cruise around that harbor. There's a huge rock in the middle of the harbor with a house on top of it. What's that house? I used to cruise by and be like, who are these people? It's Buddy house. Who? Buddy Cianci was the mayor of Providence. This guy has so much knowledge, it's, it's out of control. I mean, it's just Listen ridiculous. To this. He Buddy was... Cianci, he kind of looked like Buddy Hackett a little, right? <laughs> is that correct? Yeah, he, he did. From your memory of childhood? Yeah, he did. This is like the straight Boston Jack podcast. What the fuck do we care? We should have Nomar in here. Tell him oh right now. God. Good riddance. They got rid of him. Kevin Mala, so long, number 15. Yeah, well, my... it's not your number. <laughs> so that's not your five. That's not your number. Later, 1 5. Jose Offerman, you don't play first. You don't DH at 100. Jose Offerman. 184, I found DH. No, 58 sir. stolen bases the year before. Comes over to us, doesn't do shit. He's a bum. Wade Boggs, get him in here. Still honorary. Let me tell you something. Robert Parrish is not walking through that door, okay? <laughs> you got a picture of CNC for us? Yeah. That's good. I like how Angie picks up photos, and then and when then he sees closed, it, he yeah. closes his computer. Well, I figured- no, don't. We're only past it because you didn't pull it up in time. Or, yeah, there you go. May your buddy Cianci 
Totally legitimate businessman. <laughs> yeah, please. We got to put that up on the Tumblr. That page. whole state's run by like Hell's Angels, isn't it? I think it's it's the mob capital of the world. Yeah, Rhode Island. more than like Rome. That's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is it Federal Hill? Is that what it's called? Federal Hill, yeah. That's where it all goes down. Those, the line down the middle of the street is painted the color of the Italian flag. Oh yeah, that makes sense. And when sense. you go ninety five from Miami to Maine, it's mm-hmm. a straight line, Route ninety five. Mm-hmm. I-95. 95 goes through my town, bro. When you go through Providence, it, it's like a giant S turn left, S right. It's a squiggly line because none of the mobsters would move their houses. Shut up. Everyone else from Miami to Maine was like, hey, man, it's for the greater good. We, hey, I'm not moving my fucking house. I ain't house. moving shit. You got that little uh, jockey in the front yard? We had all those kids in the Italian neighborhoods growing up, the jockeys. The lawn jockey is alarming. Yeah, it is. It's the worst. Although, but there's one, there's a club, a club, there's a restaurant, I think it's 21 Club in New York City. It's a restaurant where there's like a hundred of them out front. Mm-hmm. They're white ones. They're actual, the actual jockeys. Yeah. And like the jockey outfits. Yeah, yeah. It's not like in blackface. No, but. Like these morons do. Well, I have a neighborhood in Venice that I used to live in and the dude had a blackface jockey out front. And then that's just, <laughs> that's just when you know you're living in a, in a little sketch neighborhood. And it wasn't an Italian dude. That was some dude being like, yeah, you want to fuck with this shit? You want to fuck with it? And I was just like, nah, man, I don't. So Buddy Santi gets arrested. Check this out. Mm-hmm. He finds out his wife is cheating. You can all look this up on the internet. Google this as I talk. There's a movie about it. All right, there's a movie about it, so it must be true. <laughs> it's called Seal Team Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> How did I screw up Seal Team Santi? Oh, that would have been perfect. I know, but, you know. That's no only th- his head is that quick that he makes his own joke and then is critiquing it before anyone else can even get to the, It's because I see the target. I know I missed. I know, you're unbelievable. I'm looking at the target down the range. <laughs> he, his wife cheats on him with a state trooper. Mm-hmm. Uh, he kicks the shit out of the state trooper. And then, like, I think it was like three or four days, sits, or maybe two days, maybe a day. Regardless, let's say it's an hour. Yeah. In his house, sits on the state trooper's chest with the guy's gun on him, like putting cigarettes out on the guy. With, like, the cops outside, like, you got to come out. We're coming in. Comes out. Gets arrested. Does his time. Gets (laughs) reelected. Of course he does. That's that's Rhode Island. There was no election. They're like, you know what? Who else? What are you going to elect a guy that wouldn't do that? (laughs) Yeah. You want to elect a guy that's going to try and clean this up? He's going to be dead in two weeks? Yeah, he just came in and just stomped a mud all. <laughs> By the way, state trooper, what kind of training you got over there? That that the guy that looks like Buddy Hackett just got the jump on you. <laughs> just coming up, your- didn't you smell his Chaz cologne from three doors down? <laughs> yeah. What was your audition for today? Marin, Mark Marin's new show. You auditioned. You have a podcast called The Crab Feast. Mm-hmm. Rate, review, subscribe. Fuck the crab feast. Five stars. Thank you. You have a podcast. Mm-hmm. Successful. People love it. Mm-hmm. And you have to go to an audition to play a guy that you, wants to be on a show of another guy that has a podcast. Yeah. No, it's all. I'm not mocking. Oh, it. okay. I thought I'm you saying, were. I thought he was getting all. You were getting mafia. You are telling me you got a podcast and now you got to go audition? But yeah, I mean that's what we did. <laughs> that was the pod. His show's gonna be awesome, man. You you had Marin on recently, didn't you? It was like two months ago? Yeah, I did his, and he I don't know. He was not releasing it, maybe. I don't know. It's, I did it like four months ago. And it hasn't come out yet? No. And it's bizarre. He's waiting. Yeah, he's waiting for what? For me to get... I don't know. You should call him up. Be like, what the fuck? No, I don't really care. It, was, it wasn't... It was an odd conversation. Well, I mean, that's his whole, his whole podcast is odd. I know, but I felt bad that I... Was I went in, and I was so open and honest, but it was about <laughs> shit that had been long settled. Yeah. And so then I opened, opened that's it the again. thing, don't bring it, that's the thing about podcasting, about the internet, no, yeah. and I've said it a thousand times, no one knows anything mm-hmm. exists until you put the light on it. Yeah, no kidding. Like, when you start talking about it, people immediately start tweeting, like, I don't even know what this means, what is this, what, is this? what does this mean, what are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, And he just asked me, like, one question up top, next half hour was just, boom, <laughs> boom, like, just, when you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. Oh, my it took God. Me, I was, like, in the hole, and I was like, oh, my God, how long have I been digging? I'm an idiot. Yeah. Well, you know, that's what happens. Uh, Thomas, Tony Thomas or Thomas Tony? I'm going to say Tony Thomas. Don't forget, you go to jmore.com, click the Amazon banner. This is good. JJ, use the link and purchase my mom a laptop for her 75th birthday. Oh, man. Also, I bought a set of Night Court DVDs for a co-worker's birthday. Shut up. I did all this while working, sticking it to the man and helping a rich guy do a podcast all in a single act. America! Exclamation points. <laughs> That's from Tony Thomas, P-A-C-S guy. Uh, I don't know what that means. but uh, I love that he's still giving some Night Court love. 
Yeah, first of all, when you get your mom a laptop at 75, you I mean, maybe get her a walker with little tennis balls on the bottom <laughs> maybe or new tennis balls for the old walker. Yeah, because now you're going to have to teach her the internet. Yeah, you think grandma at 75 is banging the internet it's out? It's going to be more work for you. Where's this interracial porn I heard so much about? <laughs> you're going to be getting, that guy's going to get phone call after email. I am. She's going to figure out I am and it's over. I think the first 100 phone calls and emails are how do I work blank? How do I work this? Oh, how do yeah, I work that? Sure. What's Vimeo? <laughs> She's now, do I want to record myself? And what if I want to share this file with my friends? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a lap tray is what it's going to be. She's going to use it, you know what I mean, for food. She's not, this is not going to even, she's not going to open that thing. And look, in between all these little keys, I can put my pills. <laughs> yeah. Look at, the- she'll put them on the days, the M. All those pills are on the M. That's Monday. There's the T, Tuesday. Let's see here. Monday, here are my Monday pills. I stack them up into little towers. Tuesday, the problem. <laughs> I love it. 75. The problem is that it. Monday and Tuesday are two rows apart. I don't understand why they're so apart. But here's the other thing, too, is I don't understand... If this guy's a great gifter or if he's the world's worst gifter, you got a 75 year old woman, a laptop computer. That's, I'm assuming, because 75, I guess, is the new like 60, in all yeah, honesty. Kurt, yeah. But, I mean, remote controls are hard to work when you're 75. Not to do like Dennis no. Miller. You know, my grandfather, 77, we don't let him use the remote control. <laughs> Reagan, 78, he's got access to the button. But. <laughs> yeah, that's tight. Who knows what that chick's going to do? He's probably the best because he's – well, first of all, he's just blowing money. He's, I mean, if he's just throwing her that – I want to know who's getting that night court. Are they big fans of night court or is this a gag gift? That's where I was going. Is this a gag? Jay Larson's money today. I, I would it. love it. I love night court. But here's – that's what I was going with. Uh, and by the way, buy uh, stuff from Amazon. Using Clear Amazon off your toolbar, tool buy, and put jmore.com and you can see everything there. Uh, at Jay Larson Comedy. You know it. On the Twitter. At jmore37. But if you're getting a coworker Night Court DVD, but, but he didn't even say box set, did he? I didn't. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure. You don't get, what are you going to get, one? <laughs> now i got to look at it. You don't get one again. episode? <laughs> get you uh, season two, episode six. That was your favorite, right? It might have been a whole, you'd have to get the whole box set. You wouldn't get Yo, just Yo, I know it wasn't the same after uh, Roz died, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my favorite thing about Night Court was? Was his office. I just loved his office. I did too. I always just and I love like the a... show, and I love the whole Mel Torme he, like. Yeah. And they had that one episode where Mel Torme showed up. Yeah. Everyone calls that jumping the shark in our business, and I asked Henry Winkler as he sat in that chair, Jay Larson of the <sighs> Crab Feast. Uh huh. How many seasons did you guys do on Happy Days after you jumped the shark? And he goes five. <laughs> like he doesn't understand why it means it's over anyway. Yeah. Either I should say. Yeah. Like jumping the shark means shit is over. It's yeah. Terrible. It's done. Like they did five seasons of Happy Days. Like After Leather that. Tuscadero, that was ju- and Pinky, that was jumping the shark. Jesus. And Joni and Chachi making out under the bleachers. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, like, Fonzie jumping the shark, that to me, that I don't know why that's become synonymous. Let's see. Real, How Night many Court, did look, they do? Just, I bought a set of Night Court DVDs. So he got the box set. He doesn't say box set. But I, mean, I bought a set of DVDs of Night Court. I like to think it's mix and match. Like, you know, I don't know what season is your favorite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I got you some Raz, and then there's the little old lady that goes, I laugh, I cried. It was a part of me. I, just, I mean, yeah. Marky Post, and then they had the other lady. I mean, I don't know it as in-depth as you do. Oh, I thought you were all clearly. over it. You loved his office. I loved his office, yeah, but I take little things away, like, uh, you know, growing pains. I used to love the apartment above the garage. I'm like, God damn it, couldn't I live there and have a Da-da-da-da. beetle? You know, I wanted a beetle. Kirk Cameron had that Beetle convertible. Remember that red convertible he had? And his friend Boner. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that got passed? How did that get passed? I don't know because nothing gets pa- – like they – censors just – it's their whole job. It's it. And they'll find stuff where it doesn't even exist just to break your balls. Like you can't say – you say darn a lot in this episode. Like weird stuff. Yeah. And I remember from doing action, <clears throat> speaking with the censor, like there's this negotiation that goes – on uh-huh. where you go, all right. We'll let it. We need to say, all right. I don't need to say "son of a bitch," so I'll give that back to you. But I gotta keep "goddamn it" in the in the top of the show. Like, there's this whole negotiation. Yeah. We're like, okay, you have two "goddamn it's." That means you have to lose the crap in Act Two. Oh man, it's this weird thing. Yeah, not anymore. Like on FX, that's why you watch some shows like on FX. You're like, how the fuck are they get? I'm like, oh yeah, it's on FX. But boner, come on. Every single kid in high school, middle school, watching that, maybe that's probably why they kept it. 
they were all getting boners and they were relating to him. Didn't Boner die? Killed himself, didn't he? Instead of looking at the ceiling. What was it? What season was that? That <laughs> <Imagine. laughs> That's why That's they're like, the you I know want. what? We we messed up on this name. Let's have him kill himself. Let's have him kill himself on no, the show. No, I mean, in real life, the actor killed himself. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, he hung himself from a tree. The cypress tree. From the, a tree. I think the Black Crows wrote cypress tree after <laughs> yeah, Boner. I'm sure. I was trying to figure out what to Google and not have a weird thing on <laughs> Oh, my God. What, on your Google search? Yeah, his Boner search has... <laughs> 